welcome back students i would like to thank you for your patience that you were waiting until this second part is being published now we will be able to see the complete question paper in the description as a link you can download and you can solve if you would like to solve without watching this and then later you can come and check the answers let us start section b attempt any four questions out of six Question number starts from 2 Accept a string create an array of character type having the size of length of string given add all the characters of the string as element of array and display it to take the input we will import scanner class so java.util.scanner we are importing the class name is given and the main method is given public static void main of string of arguments now scanner object is created in is the object name equal to new scanner of system dot in string str is equal to the object name that is in dot next of to take the string input we need a length of uh, string given so int l is equal to str dot length of we need array to be initiated character array c h a r a r r of equal to new character of l so that is the size of the array now to extract each and every letter of the string we will be having a for loop which starts from 0 and ends one before the length so we can give for int i is equal to 0 i is lesser than l i plus plus to extract the character we will use string dot caret i we will put that into arr of i so that is i so first character of string is taken that is index 0 is taken it is put it into array index having 0 similar way it will be putting all the characters in the array so now the array is ready to display the array we need again a for loop for int i is equal to 0 i is lesser than l i plus plus it is same for loop we will print a r r of i we will not give print ln so that it will be printing in the same line plus comma is given so that it prints comma every time after the element similar type of program you may get which carries 10 marks question number 3 accept n names in capital letters as array elements display the names which starts only with vowels so as we need to take input for the array we will import the util dot scanner package class has been declared the main method is given scanner object is created now i have created a object called sc i need to take a input to know how many names are there to enter so int n is equal to sc dot next int of which takes the integer input and then array which is a string type string name of is equal to new string of n so n is the input number of names to be entered as element in the array now for loop normally it starts as 0 and then the last index number is one lesser than the length so it is lesser than n then i plus plus now taking the input of names in capital letters name of i is equal to sc dot next of this will be taking the input of string that is names if you want to make the task capital letters we shall give dot to upper case of so now anything is taken as input will be converted to upper case now again for loop we need to check each and every element of the array so to compare with the first letter of each element i will create an variable called ch as character type and then i will extract the first letter of each element now i should check whether it is a r e r i 
R O R U. So I am giving the condition here. If this is true, then it will be printing the element. So system dot out dot print line of name starts with vowel. I have given just the information and then name of i. If it is not starting with this, it is not going to do anything. Now close the for loop. Close the method and close the class. Question four: Accept a double type data, convert into string type, and split as two different string variables. First one called ISTR, which is before decimal point, and the other as RSTR, which is after decimal point, and display both. Here we need to take the input of double type data. So import Java dot util dot scanner as usual. Class string before after. Now declare the method public static void main of string of arguments. Now scanner class object scanner sc is equal to new scanner of system dot in. See these many are most probably used to be common in all the programs. Double d number. is equal to sc dot next double of this will take double type number if you want to give the instruction before printing this you can also give the print statement to enter the double data but i have not done here string s is equal to double dot two string of d number so this will convert the double data type into string data now after converting here is a challenge how do you separate before and after decimal point just find the index of the dot which is between the decimal and integer parts so i am finding here int index is equal to s dot index of dot once the index number i know until that from the starting i will bifurcate the string for that i s t r so the variable is given in the question itself Is equal to s yes dot substring of zero comma index. So the index is the stop here for the substring that is not counted. So without the dot before that whatever is there it is taken. Similar way the next one we will start after the index one. So r s t r is equal to s yes dot substring of index plus one. So this means leaving the index the next letter it is going to take from there everything is there. so both we have put it into two different variables now just we want to print both system dot out dot print line of integer part istr plus in the same line i have given using the backslash n so that it goes to the next line real part that is rstr so now close the method and class question number 5 initialize an array with the elements 1 3 5 6 7 8 9 15 accept a number and search whether the number input is available in the array or not using binary search technique if found print the index number of the element otherwise print search element is not in the array see this is binary search technique i have clearly explained the technique how it works in the program in my 40 second video if you are not familiar with this technique please visit that otherwise even that is in the my revision video which is recently published please check and come back here however i have given a minimum explanation here import java dot util dot scanner to get the input class is declared the main method is given now create an object for the scanner class i initialize then array int a array symbol equal to all the elements which is given in the question inside the flower bracket now i need few variables for binary search technique that is first last and the middle element so i have initialized here yeah, first is zero the last will be length minus 1 and the middle we are going to calculate by adding f plus l divided by 2 i have also initialized a boolean variable flag is equal to false 
when the search is successful and then it will turn into true i am giving a prompt to the user to enter a value to search int s is equal to sc dot next int of going to take the number from the user integer number while f is lesser than or equal to l so at least one or more than one element should be available in the array then what it happens the middle index is been calculated that is f plus l divided by 2 if s is greater than the value which is in the middle index is increased by 1 if it is lesser then index is decreased by 1 otherwise it is going to be equal that means value found in the array so index number is printed there that as m then the flag will become true and then we don't need to search further so we break this if flag is still remaining false until the last search then the search is not successful we will print the message the condition given is not flag that is not true system dot out dot print line of search element is not in the array so close the method and class all these programs which i show here have zero error it is tested on java question number six accept five float type elements for an array store the elements in reverse order and display it as usual i take the help of java.util.scanner to input i declare a class i declare a main method I will declare an array with size 5 which is float type. To input I need the scanner object. I create scanner sc equal to new scanner of system dot in. I prompt the user to enter 5 float type numbers. Now I need a for loop to take 5 times input. See there are two methods doing here. One we take normally from the index 0 to 4 and then reverse it otherwise we can also write a for loop in reverse order so that the last number input is taken first and the first becomes the last so i use the second method int i is equal to arr dot length minus one i is greater than zero i minus minus so accepting the input arr of i equal to sc dot next float of to accept float type of number now to print again I need a for loop that is normal for loop 0 to 4 int i is equal to 0 i is lesser than 5 i plus plus just print system dot out dot print of arr of i and then one comma with that close the method and close the class question number 7 special word is a word whose first character is removed and added at the end becomes the reverse of original word accept a word from the user and check whether the given word is special word or not ignore the case example banana b is removed from the beginning and added at the end now you reverse the new word again you get the banana this time i am not going to use scanner class to input instead of that i will be using through parameter so I am declaring the class the method here public static void main of string s I need two more variables one to take the first letter and add to the last and the other one is again reversing the second word so string rs that is a reverse word for now it is empty string ns that is a new string s yes dot substring of one so the first one is left out from the index number one it takes that is a n a n a it will be taking the first letter is added at last that is concat s yes dot substring of zero comma one it takes only the first letter that is b so now we, we got the new string to reverse this i need a for loop so the for loop will be in the reverse order int i is equal to ns dot length of minus 1 
i is greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus so each letter i will be adding in the reverse string rs equal to rs plus ns dot character at i so now this will be reversed now i check whether this reversed is the original word or not if s dot equals ignore case see in the question it is given you can ignore the case so i use the string function which is ignoring the case if this is true i am going to print it is a special word else it is not a special word now close the method and class students few more words like this i wanted to give you rama dresser uneven grammar potato revive voodoo all these and there may be many more students i hope you might have felt uh, good to practice this paper keep watching my channel let us meet in the next video with some tips for your examinations thank you